Hi, this is Stephanie Davis with Agent in the Creek on YouTube.com. Today we are looking at 321 Camelot Drive. This is in Camelot Village on the edge of Goose Creek, South Carolina. Also easy access to Boeing, Charleston Air Force Base, Charleston Southern University, North Charleston shopping and restaurants, and then the parks, schools, and other recreation in Goose Creek. This neighborhood features sidewalks, buried power lines. There's no HOA here, but lots of pride of ownership, as you can tell. If you have a boat or RV that needs to be stored somewhere, you can save on those storage fees by coming here. You'll see in a few minutes that this house offers a huge backyard. It sits on 0.4 acres. So if you had something like a boat or an RV that needed to be stored, you've got plenty of space back there in the fenced backyard. All right, let's go ahead and take a look inside. Here's a closer view of the front porch from inside the storm door and a look out to the street. You've got a nice yard light there. A lot of room between neighbors, kind of a long driveway, could accommodate at least four cars, maybe more. There's your front porch. Inside the house, you've got a wood foyer entry. Nice, big family room. Ceiling fan. This room looks out over the front yard with a couple of windows. It does have a fireplace. Opens up to the Eden kitchen. There's two doorways to that kitchen. There's your half bath for guests and a coat closet. And then here's a look at the front door again. It's a pretty big foyer area. And then you've got stairs leading up to the four bedrooms. So let me show you the Eden kitchen then. Good space in here, wood floor, chair rail, crown molding. Another ceiling fan. Your breakfast area looks out over the backyard with an, in, an above ground pool and screen porch plus a barbecue patio. I'll show you that in a few minutes. Here's a look at the kitchen. You've got a little peninsula jutting out there into the kitchen. Your sink looks out over the backyard. Lots of cabinets. There's a pantry on that end that I'll show you in a minute wanted you to see the front room from back in here. Okay, let's walk over this way. Here's your pantry. It's pretty deep. It goes back under the stairs. A lot of storage there. Here's the door to the two-car garage with laundry area inside. And then here's your half bath for guests with a window. All right, let's take a look upstairs. The stairs are in an L shape. You're going up one story, but there's a landing here. And I've just backed into the fourth bedroom so you can kind of get your bearings. but. Let me show you now this bedroom. It's over the garage. It does have some closet space. Has a ceiling fan and a window unit to help, although it is vented for the central heat and air unit. And there's a look back at the stairs. It's a pretty good size. The garage is 20 feet by at least 20 feet so you get an idea of the space in here. Alright, so moving up the other three steps, you've got two bedrooms on your left, your master bedroom on your right, and here is your full bath. It has a shower and tub combo. Moving across the hallway, here's bedroom number one. It has a ceiling fan and light kit. Looks out over the backyard. Room for a dresser. There's your closet with bifold doors. 
Moving on to the second room. Got a chair rail here, crown molding, ceiling fan with light. And then there's the view over the backyard. There's your closet, room for a dresser. Now this door here on my left in the hallway, that's where you've got your furnace, so that doesn't have any storage in it, but easy access for the repair guy should you need it. Here's your master bedroom. Good size. This is large furniture in here, so you can see how well it accommodates. Again, crown molding up around the ceiling, ceiling fan and light kit. This bedroom looks out over the backyard. Here's a look at the closet. Quite a bit of storage. Okay, now I'll make my way over to the master bathroom for you. You've got a single sink, but it could probably be made into a double sink without too much effort. You've got updated light fixtures, crown molding here in the bathroom too. It's a garden tub and shower combo. And a window that looks out over the front yard. All right, let's go ahead and take a look now at the huge backyard in the pool. The backyard stretches out pretty far you can see it's a great setup with a patio and a screened porch for barbecues. And then you've got the above ground swimming pool as well, which is another plus. I'm going to show you all the way around the backyard. There is a privacy fence. Plenty of room here for storage. And bordering on the side here is a creek, so you've got good bit of space between you and the next door neighbor. Kind of an odd shaped backyard but very deep. Pretty private. There's a swing set on the edge. But if you'd like to take a look at this house, please call me. I'm Stephanie Davis with Carolina One Real Estate. Your agent in the creek on YouTube.com. My number is 843-870- 0890. Thanks for watching my video.